Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we have a special request from a commenter or supporter. Uh, his name is Lex01. He said, can I do a video on Universal Parts? Well, I have listened, I have read, and I will respond. Today we'll be talking about the top five Universal Parts that anybody can put into their car. It's universal after all. Now we are talking about universal parts, so no performing parts are going to be mentioned in this video. For the love of God, do not buy any universal car performance parts. Please do not. Um, but anyways, let's get on with the video. Anyways guys, today we're gonna be talking about universal parts that anybody can buy. My favorite website being Amazon, just because their shipping is so reliable, so amazing, so fast, especially if you have Amazon Prime. Let's talk about it. Now like I say in all my top five videos, if you have any other suggestions any other options that are universal feel free to comment it down below just in case i missed any but besides that let's get started with number one on the list let me go ahead and grab my phone all right guys so number one on the list are actual side skirts now original side skirts are not universal you know every car is different length every car is different mm, shape everything is not straight right so in that case is not universal but these specific side skirts i believe can fit in most cars most universal cars this product i actually bought myself when i first got the jeep back two years ago put it on my g35 it can literally fit on the honda it can fit on the audi it can fit in my dad's car it can fit on the suv the only way i don't see it fitting is if your back end is like super angular and uh, i don't know just some weird shape maybe like a lambo or some kind of things i'm talking about these side splitters right here they're not the full length side splitters I understand but they do add kind of like a corner in the back of your car and it makes the car look pretty cool I've had it in my g35 here's a picture back with the gray g35 so bought a second pair for the front okay I didn't have the money at the time to buy the full splitter so I bought the back corner and I bought the front corner and it kind of somewhat looked like a full splitter but not really and it looked really good in my opinion. I got a lot of, lot of comments and questions about it. A lot of people ask me, yo, what are those corners? Where did you get them? What are they called? Blah, blah, blah. And even though I got them from Amazon literally for like maybe 40 bucks. So it's affordable. It's pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. It looks good and it comes with the carbon fiber design. Not real carbon fiber, of course, but regardless, it looks really good. I got a lot of compliments on that. So if you guys want in a side splitters or side skirts, Feel free to take a look at those side splitters. They're pretty affordable. Get them through Amazon. Free shipping if you have Amazon Prime, I think. All right, item number two is actually a soft bendy splitter. And this is called, right here, it's called the, I don't know, front lip universal carbon fiber. It has a carbon fiber design. Doesn't look very real. I myself purchased that two years ago. Like I said, when I first got my G35, I didn't know too much about cars. So I saw that on Amazon. I was like, damn, that's amazing. Carbon fiber, sheesh, I'm gonna be stunning on them homies, right? But uh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Basically, you grab the bumper and then the lip, as you can see on the picture, it has a strip of 3M tape. And that strip, you're gonna freaking, you know, tape it on the edge of this and, uh, you know, conform it to your own original bumper. It's bendy, so you can literally bend it to your entire bumper even if it curves in like this or if it's straight or rounded whatever you can do that i do want to tell you guys ahead of time though that 3m tape is not gonna be enough at least for me i put on that freaking lip it was not sticking and i actually ended up putting small little screws in there so that it holds it in place and it ended up holding it in place it still ended up falling but after like uh <clears throat> i would say it lasted me about like six seven months before it completely got ripped scraped and it started you know not sticking on the bumper after many many car washes so um but like i said it's cheap 20 25 dollars for a lip it looks decent not bad carbon fiber look not the best carbon fiber look but it's all right and if you're looking for something quick cheap and affordable that can definitely be the move now if you're looking for something a lot more long term a lot more durable then we will talk about item number three on the list which is universal front splitter but it's actual, it's, it's it's hard. It's not a softy bendy. But the way that this is universal is that it's an adjustable. So usually front splitters come in one single piece because usually they conform to your car. Say you have a 350Z, that front splitter is designed for that 350Z bumper. If you have a Lamborghini, that front splitter is designed for that Lamborghini front bumper, right? But this bump, this 
front splitter is a three piece you guys can see right here it's a three piece anyways if you're looking for something cheap affordable again amazon's your guy this front splitter i believe you build that first you build this let's say this is the front splitter you build this front section of the front splitter and you have this whole round which is going to conform to your whole bottom of the bumper and then the corners right here regardless of your bumper you have adjustable corners so you're going to bolt this corner to the main to the main splitter and then you're going to bolt to this corner to the main splitter and you could adjust it to how round or square now i'm going to be completely honest with you guys i myself have not purchased this product literally look this is a picture on amazon from a honda the honda i don't know what it is but the honda looking real clean real mint and that front splitter complements it so much it looks really really good on that car i'm not gonna lie myself like the, the question here is not is it rice or not the question here is that does it look good and in my opinion it does look good so i haven't seen it in person but based on this picture and based on a lot of good reviews i'm gonna say this universe this universal front splitter could be a good move moving on to part number four we are talking about that 3m tape rear lip spoiler okay now this lip spoiler is I have a feeling I have not bought it yet myself, but I am almost 100% sure that this lip is pretty much the same thing that you put in that front lip. You know, that soft front splitter that I was talking to you guys about? It's probably the same thing, uh, same material, probably same carbon fiber design. Now, I do want to say this Amazon version right here that I'm showing you guys, it's actually pretty, pretty awesome, okay? Now, that the one for your front lip, you design it to your bumper and then you you clip the rest that you don't need, right? For those of you guys who are asking like, wait, don't you need a specific size? No, it comes pretty long and then you just cut the excess, right? Make a nice clean cut so it looks pretty cool, right? That's what I did. And for that rear spoiler, as you can see on this image, it actually has corners. So, and I'm putting that straight part of the spoiler all the way across right here. Once you, you reach this dead end, then you will add your corners and that's gonna give it a more look of a spoiler you know how the double deck spoilers have like the corners what do you call them like the spoiler faces or the spoiler side faces i don't know what you call them but it may it gives it that look and it's not just this straight looking piece of junk because at the end of the corners when you clip that 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 lip or that rear spoiler you can see the ends that is being cut and that it looks not cool right but these corners completely eliminate that you know it goes on the end and the whole lip looks like it's carbon fiber and there's no sign of like it's been cut i don't think you need any bolt for that and please do not bolt anything just use a 3m tape and if it's not sticking then do not use it but do not put any bolts i thought i recorded i literally did a whole segment i did a whole damn show on part number five but i guess i was not recording oh man anyways guys list number five part number five here i cannot go literally my best and most favorite mod i cannot go any video without mentioning it literally recommended to almost everybody and yes we are talking about how much i love my lighting bro i love lighting and today we're going to be talking about part number five which is interior footwell lighting bro literally the it's $15, $20 max. You cannot argue with something that you just can't. Even if it's bad, it's $15, right? I don't care if you think it's ricey. I don't care what you think. I really don't. Footwell lighting has got to be the best interior lighting, bro. At night, anybody who doesn't know about cars, anybody who knows about cars, dude, literally, inter it, it's, it's just cool, bro. I, I love it, bro. Like, you just cannot argue, like, why would you hate literally you got colors of light shining at your feet at your disposal and you're gonna argue and say that's not bro stop it stop being childish get your life together you guys can ask all the og subscribers i love my freaking lights bro anyways footwell lighting's 15 dollars, 20 dollars. it is gonna give you that spaceship look it's not gonna make it classy it's not gonna make it elegant don't think you're driving a mercedes but it is amazing man at night when you have it is it's just cool there's no other way to put it it's just cool and awesome bro i've convinced a lot of my friends to get them and since they got them bro they've been adding more and more lights into the interior it's almost daytime when you get in your car at night so that's how many lights we're putting inside of them it's a damn christmas tree now i'm not saying put all the lights in there but like i'm saying just the footwell lighting it's gonna be freaking amazing and like i said 15 to 20 dollars 
it's hard to argue. Anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude our top five universal car parts that you can go on Amazon right now. Go to my description. I put all the links on there. If I missed any other parts that you guys found online, feel free to put them down in the comments below so anybody else can go ahead and search them up and maybe, you know, give them some use. I'll catch you guys next video. Be safe, be distinct. Catch you guys next video. Peace.